Welcome back to Family Gamer TV. We're about to have a look at some of the power discs on the um, Disney Infinity Avengers play set. Some costume changes, some abilities. And we've got Christian Orechi to talk us through it. Hi, everybody. Uh, all right, so here we are out, uh, out of Avengers Tower. Uh, and we are now out on the uh, streets of a frozen over uh, Marble Manhattan. Uh, and I have Captain America here, and uh, we're going to take a look at uh, the costume swap discs. So here's the first one we're going to show you for Captain America. That is... See that? There you go. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at that. So I'm going to pop Cap off. And I'm going to put that disc on there. So you put the disc under the figure. Right, so you put the disc under the figure. Players who are familiar with uh, Infinity 1, We'll get that, but all the discs stack too high of the characters. And so now you can see that I've costume swapped to, uh, to uh, similar to uh, the movie costumes plus Captain America. Uh, oh yeah, so he looks like now in game. He looks different. He looks different now. So uh, so you'll see those. Those are new. Those are new for us this year. Uh, but you'll be able to do that with uh, specific characters. Now, if you have that costume swap disc. Uh, but you don't have Captain America, the disc is still a viable play piece uh, because it will have a bonus ability associated with it. Uh, things like uh, things like a wider radius of collection, a uh, chance for additional sparks, things like that uh, uh, will be on those discs as well. So if I have a different character and I use that disc, I'll still be getting a bonus, but if I happen to have Captain America, I'll get the bonus plus the costume chain. So is there another disc we could combine with this yes. to, to uh, get so it better? Yes, so another another uh, concept we have for 2.0 is the ability of team-ups. So I'm going to place a team-up disc on. And let's see, I'm going to call in Iron Patriot. I'm sorry, Winter Soldier. OK. So Winter Soldier, so I'm going to put the Winter Soldier disc down. So you see on the screen it says Marvel Team Up Winter Soldier. And now you'll see that there is a charge up uh, that will happen. And once the, once the disc is fully charged, I'll be able to call the Winter Soldier in uh, to help me battle uh, battle whoever I want. Battle, oh, front, nice. battle whoever yeah. I want. So that's one of these cool new things. Which it's Really it's in a way for us to delve a little deeper into the Marvel Universe, uh, which is really nice so we can we can showcase other heroes, uh, other heroes that people may not know or people do know, uh, and wanted to see in the game. So is that that disc is ch charging up still? Is it? Yes, it's still charging up. So once it's done, it'll have a it'll have a radio call out. You'll see. So there it is. Now it's yeah. ready to go. So it'll be pressed it, press down to activate that. But right now, I'm going to cruise around here, and I'm going to head over to Nick Fury. And this is the first mission. Once you're out is to take this shield bike over to Nick as I crush everything in my path. And there we go. And so then I've met up with Nick Fury here, uh, who's, who's got a temporary base set up. Nice. Yep. Uh, and then, so now you'll see that the motorcycle is now available in my toy box. Oh, sweet. Yep. So if I wanted to go in and race with it, I would have that available to me. And then now we have these these markers that are throughout the city that the more vehicles you unlock, you'll be able to go over to these markers. So for characters like Cap who don't have a flight ability, you can, you'll can have a transportation request. So the more vehicles you collect, they'll stack up here and you can choose which vehicle you want. So I'm going to summon the bike. Uh, and I'm also getting a new mission right now, which is uh, I have to go go activate those generators. So I'm going to drive, and I'm going to head over to the Energy Crisis. Also, all vehicles, or the majority of the vehicles in the Marvel sets have some type of special attack. Oh, yeah. So you'll be able to do things like that. So here I am at the first. And now my next challenge with some more evil frost giants. Yeah. And we'll we can see do some help. Up. I think I can use some help. And it looks like there is a, a new frost giant in town too. Boom! And there he is. There's Winter Soldier. Oh, just and so he'll fight on his own independently and help you. He will. He'll fight on his own independently of me. He'll he'll seek out targets and then attack them. Whoops. There we go.
He's crushing guys for me. A storm is coming. The streets are paved with coal. It is a storm. Of Couple peace. more. And, and there he goes. Now we're wrapped up. Nice work. There we go. Done. And then it will. And then uh, so then Winter Soldier will charge up again, and I'll be able to execute him again. Use that. So now uh, we try a different character, and so something we've not looked at in detail yet is the skill trees. That's something you could show us here. Yes, absolutely. So uh, in the skill trees, uh, these are new for 2.0, uh, and this was a way, again, listening to our community, that they wanted to be able to uh, sort of have create an individual play style for their characters, okay. and not have them be uh, necessarily as similar. So we've increased the level cap of all of the characters to 20 from 15. All of your 1.0 characters will be able to move forward into 2.0. They will also have a, a version of the skill tree where they'll be able to become on par with the 2.0 character. Okay. But right here you'll see, uh, as I'm pulling up the menu, the skill tree. And when this pulls up... Wow, it's massive. It, it is a lot, of, a lot of options, right? Uh, a lot of things for players to be able to choose from. So what you'll see is uh, you'll have these call-outs and they will, you will be able to branch however you want to, but you'll have different branches you can take, or you can mix and match, or you can, or you can focus down one particular branch if you like. It's really up to you. Uh, but you'll click on one, and then it'll open up this nice little pop-up that'll describe what it does, and then it'll give you the button that you use to associate with that. So, and then you'll have these other ones, these gold leaf ones with the star, that are signature, really signature moves of the characters. So in this case, I put Cap's Shield Assault in here. I put a point in here already. Uh, and it'll just describe what it does, and it'll show you the button associated with it. You select it, and it'll double confirm if you want to spend that point in case you don't want to and you okay. want to go back. And then once you have it, you have it, and you're checked off on it. So does this branch, if you go down one route of the tree, does that lock off the other route, or is it no, you can have them all of them? It's, it's really up to, there's no locking off, it's just up to the choices yeah. that you make. So if you go, oh, but I really wanted this one, go ahead, drop a point yeah. in that. And then now you'll see that on the screen, on the top left, it's opened up a purple meter. Oh, yeah. Uh, under the two, that is your special ability move meter. Uh -huh. And so now you'll see when you go and cap uh, come across these purple capsules, that will fill, refill the meter for you. And the meter will increase as you level up. Uh -huh. So then how do you spend that purple? Uh, you'll spend it by, uh, well, one, if I execute the special ability, and I'm just going to do it. Yeah, let's do it. Boom, let's, let's do it. it. Boom, he does this really cool sweeping shield arc wow. ability, and it comes right back to him. Yeah. Um, so, but you normally save that up. Head head that and I can tell you didn't really want to use it with no one around. I, but. You know, but I, you know, this is for the kids. We want to show you guys. Here's what here's what happens, right? So now you'll see that though I've spent the meter, and so that it's, it's not full anymore. Okay. And then once I go find those purple capsules, as I as I collect them, it'll refill the meter. So I think I see one way over that way. But you know what? I'm gonna get on my motorcycle. Where did I put it? There it is. I'm gonna drive over there in style. <laughs> and you'll see the meter oh, yes, it fills up. up. So there you go. So yeah. So then once that's full, I'll be able to execute my ability again. So we are, there's one character we've not looked at so far, isn't there? In the set? Uh, Black Widow. Yeah, right. Sorry. We should probably check out Black Widow. So yeah. let's do that right now. So we got Black Widow in the game, and you've got some power discs in your hand there. I do. So I'm going to show you this power disc. This is uh, an event disc where you'll be able to summon a shield uh, missile strike. That's good. Thank you. So I'm going to throw that down right here. And you'll so see... That, sorry. So you'll see that the missile strike is actually... Uh, now it's charging up, and then uh, it's an event disc. So event discs are basically those charge up abilities, you'll be able to execute those. So and are they new for Disney Infinity 2 event discs? Is that a new type? Yes, yeah, those are new. So while that's charging, I'm going to head over to my next mission. And this is like a New York 
style city, is that right? Yes, it is. This is uh, Marvel's Manhattan. Yeah. Oh, here's another, actually, here's another good call out too. Uh, so you'll see these orange capsules as well. When you collect those, you'll see that your experience bar goes up. So these orange, uh, orange sparks increase your experience bar. And that's how you level up. That's how you level up. Well, that through, but also through your normal gameplay. So whenever you see those, it's like a, a, an added bonus. And then how did you earn your ability upgrade? How did you, get, how did you win that? My ability upgrade? Yeah, uh, wait, wait, the, the one you spent on the skill tree. How did you get to the point of having a having a ability uh, to well, spend? Once I hit to level one, then it'll give me a point to spend. Uh -huh. So you'll see a pop up that'll uh, be a call out that'll say, "Hey, you have a you have a point to spend." Uh -huh. And so once you actually once you open up, you go to the start menu and you'll be able to open up the skill tree, and it'll show you how many available points you have, what skills are available to you to spend on. So these more ice giants are they? Or ice more enemies? Ice giants, yep. Frost giants. Yeah, frost giants. People will be saying, you got the name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> A little confusing. There's one of four. You can see Black Widow is very fast in how she executes her abilities. She's able to cross distances fairly well. And that's pretty quick compared to Captain America. Yeah, she made quick work of them. So, um, there are there a couple of couple more costume discs we've not seen, I think, is that right? Uh, yes, actually, let's see. I'm going to execute a missile strike, though. Oh, so the missile strike is still charging, is it? Yeah. There we go. I've got one more, one more to go. My motorcycle. Ah, actually I should talk about that really fast. So you'll see here, we talked about there's uh, all kinds of activities beyond the main story mission to do. Here's one of them. This is a, uh, this is a call out for a, uh, uh, just a challenge missions. Uh, and so since I've unlocked the motorcycle, this unlocked the ability to do motorcycle races. So um, it'll basically be a race through the city uh, that players will be able to, to participate in whenever they want to. So very similar to 1.0 when we had those types of race challenges, we have those challenges in here. Um, and is there a two player option there? There will be a, there will be a two player as well. Yeah. All right. Mission. So let's see. So that was that, that. What blew up right there was the missile strike. Uh -huh. Oh, from your desk. You pulled you pull that in. Yep. Yeah. So I called in the missile strike. So I took out those guys in the back. Every character again has the ability to do range, range and melee. Uh -huh. It just depends on which character you are and how proficient you'll be at, at either one. So again, like Hawkeye is really a true, a true uh, range character compared to uh, like a Thor. Yeah, or a Black, so Black Widow there, she's, she's good at brawling, but she's still got that gun as well. She still has that gun as well. Yeah. That's correct. So what, what about these costumes? I'm itching to see some of these costume discs. Oh yeah, so let's switch characters. Uh, let's check out Iron Man. So we've got the Iron Man costume disc under Iron Man figure. Right, so now that I've placed that down, oh, and he's getting pounded. So now you can see uh, we have Iron Man in his uh, Mark 42 armor. Sweet. Yeah. And so does that give me the abilities, or is it just the way he looks? It's the look. Yeah. It's the look, not an ability. Because how you look matters when you're a superhero. I'm sorry? Because how you look matters when you're a superhero. It absolutely does. Uh, superheroes are very stylish, without a doubt. So how much of, the, of um, this playset do you have? 
at E3. Could you could you pay through the whole thing? If you just if we stayed here all conference, all expo. Uh, we have the first five missions available. Uh -huh. And how uh, long would that take to complete? Uh, about an hour, uh -huh. I'd say maybe. Uh, <laughs> Uh, probably longer uh, if you went ahead and did all of the challenges and all of the discoveries. So I think it's a good. I think it's probably a good, good hour. And there we go. And then that's mission is complete. He does look really good with that costume. It's great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the team, uh, the Avalanche team worked very hard. Uh, and again, working with Marvel, uh, they've been a great partner uh, to make sure that things feel authentically Marvel. Uh, and that's whether we're pulling them from directly from the comics, uh, call outs to the movies such as this, um, wherever they may be, the shows. So we've got one more costume, I think, and then we've sort of pretty much seen most, most yeah. of it. Let's take a look at the Incredible Hulk. Right, so we put the Hulk on top of his costume swap disc. Boom, Grey Hulk. Classic. Yeah, nice. Yeah, classic. Looks good. So for a Marvel fan, each of these costumes obviously would be familiar already because they would have they relate yeah. to a film or a comic. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely uh, definitely taking care of our Marvel fans. Uh, and really just going, you know, these are these are uh, also classic uh, classic looks for these characters uh, that we've seen throughout the year. So we wanted to make sure that we were delivering on those as well. Uh, and again, you know, toys of the characters. Cool. Well, if we're just rounding off here, is there, is there one last thing you'd like to show us in the Avengers playset before we before we call it a day? Oh, I'd like you to see the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you'll be seeing that this fall. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be fun this fall. Cool. Great. Well, can't wait to get our hands on the game. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, my pleasure.